Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Corrado Coco, music producer and certified midweek trainer and today I'll show you this big synthesizer I've made recently. Yeah, let's get started. Come on. Okay, here we have this big synthesizer, this uh, polyridom synthesizer. Uh, yeah, let's dive. Um, we have this control, this macro control, but yeah, let's see inside um, how it works, everything here. Um, so first things first, uh, we have two different sequencer, uh, first sequencer, second sequencer. About this sequencer, um, yeah, the first one controls VCO1 and the second one controls VCO2. Both of them have two sub sequencers, um, have called polyridom 1 and 2. And yeah, basically, you can make two polyridom lines for each sequencer. Um, totally, uh, you can combine six different rhythm lines. Uh, together and you can activate um, for example polyridom one for the first sequencer by uh, clicking this toggle here on the left um, and polyridom two by clicking this polyridom um, yeah on the, on the left uh, yeah but now we can change in 16th note and yeah i'll show you the difference because now um i'm activating poly one and two and those are affecting the, the first sequencer and uh, and you can hear the difference um, i can change I can change the second sequencer and I'm activating poly 1 and 2 for the second sequencer now. Yeah. And um, I can activate, uh, yeah, a randomic pitch for the first sequencer and the second sequencer. Um, yeah, in this case, uh, for each step of my sequencers, um, will be triggered uh, a randomic number uh, for a new frequency, for a new pitch. Yeah, let's listen to this. Yeah, now I'm combining a randomic pitch with this uh, line and yeah you can change and you can hear a little bit the difference for example you can put down but if i want yeah some notes um above higher yeah and so on and this is velocity steps and yeah I can choose um, yeah in the VCF section if I if I want make a filter uh, to able to um, to get the velocity steps Um, and now I can program uh, polyridom 1 and 2 for each sequencer for example in this case yeah, yeah I have same uh, behavior of the sequencer or the first line of the sequencer there is no polyridom at all but yeah i can program 
uh, and I decide where yeah I want uh, difference behavior different speed of reading velocity on and yeah now um, let's talk about um, VCO 1 and 2 because um, yeah um, VCO in this case is composed uh, of an oscillator where you can switch between square and so uh, wave and yeah of course you can uh, you can decide to have tuned uh, or untuned uh, pitch because um, yeah the, the, the number um, the pitch yeah plays uh, through this um, frequency knob and then you can choose if you want to quantize this pitch or not so now isn't quantized and in this case it is quantized and you can choose the note um, you prefer the scale uh, major scale or minor scale and um, yeah this is a glide and uh, yeah below we have a uh, sub two sub oscillator for um, each VCO and here um yeah you can choose um from 1 to 16th um sub uh sub note uh, overtone basically um this is a uh, overtone series and yeah for um you can decide uh, to subdivide um each sub oscillator uh, from 1 to 16 uh, um, number 16 overtone and by doing that you can make a bunch of different timber uh, and you can make your pitch uh, tuned in a specific scale um, uh, in this case also sub oscillators are tuned uh, because uh, pitch uh, the pitch is quantized here and the same thing is here um, in VCO2 uh, we have two interrupter um, yeah for VCO1 and 2 um, and this here we have a VCF uh, section this is a filter section yeah as I told you um, I, I can decide if uh, if I want um, velocity uh, or not if um, if I switch on yeah the velocity in this case is affecting the behavior of the filter and in this case isn't affecting the behavior of the filter yeah I can choose between two different envelope AD and plaque and here I have VCA section I can choose two different uh, envelopes um, 
like BCF section and I can decide um, when when um, I want to trigger my envelope and particularly um, in this case when this button is activated yeah I, I will trigger um, my envelope um, only when um, one of two my sequencer uh, restart from the beginning uh, yeah when this button is um, deactivated instead um, I, I, I'll trigger the envelope for each step of my sequencer uh, basically for uh, the sum of the steps uh, from sequencer 1 and 2 and yeah um, after that we have a delay section this is a delay and an insert delay section and um, yeah we have two different delay from left and right channel and uh, distortion section um, yeah I've made four different um, uh, pathway um, distortion pathway and um, you can you can choose different distortion uh, with this encoder yeah by the way you can uh, choose um, to combine different uh, distortion and have um, both of them together some of them together yeah. yeah yeah um that's it about this um this big synthesizer uh poly rhythm synthesizer and yeah um now i'll show you um something um playing with this um macro control um yeah This is a sub frequency, yeah. A sub frequency uh, of VCO1, and this is a sub frequency, yeah, from uh, VCO2.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.